Funny Time, and I'm back with some more Sims for you. And I really quickly just wanted to come on here and talk about the new werewolf pack that we're getting, Twilight Who. So now we have vampires. It looks like we're getting um, werewolves, which I know everybody was hinting at in the last, um, like, Discover the Night or whatever it was. I forgot the name of the thing that Sims came out with, but when they were talking about the roadmap, right, everybody was like, oh my god, was that a werewolf howl? We're getting werewolves. And I was kind of in that boat too once people started speculating about that. So I just wanted to come on here really quickly and read what's going on because I saw that it leaked. I think it was the German um, edition or whatever of the pack that leaked. And like the picture went all over Twitter. And so I told myself when I came home today, I was going to record because it is June 2nd. I woke up this morning at like six in the morning, saw it leaked, was going to come home and record. And then by the time I got home, it had already released on The Sims website. So that's what I'm going to read off of right now. Embrace the full moon. Unleash your beastly side in The Sims 4 Werewolves game pack. And I know a lot of people were complaining. I saw, at least when I saw the one picture on Twitter, people were complaining, like, why do the werewolves have regular sim feet? Where are their tails? And what is this mess about? They have a bushy werewolf face, but they don't have a tail. Everybody had something to say. So I want to see what's actually going on. And I'm guessing we're getting a new world, kind of like how we have the vampire world. I'm guessing we're going to get maybe a new werewolf world. Um, with probably the same four to five little lots where I'm just like, can we just expand the, the vampire world? Like, is that asking for too much? I don't know. Maybe. Because we got, we got a werewolf, or we got a vampire world. We got a spellcaster world. Now I feel like we're going to the werewolf world. Okay. All right. A full moon shines down on a formerly bustling mill town alongside the river that cuts it in two. A thick fog washes over the abandoned lumber equipment and disappears into the untamed wilderness. From the rocky outcropping above, a howl is heard, its musical legato breaking the stillness of the world beneath it. Then another bays from the woods and another from the lake until a prowling pack of wolves emerge from the gloomy mist. But these aren't just any wolves. They're werewolves, majestic and fierce like nothing you've ever seen before I can already see all the machinimas and gameplay ideas oh my goodness okay uh let's do it okay once upon a time moonwood mill that's a really cute name moonwood mill what is happening I'm sorry I just looked down here and I, I I'm gonna have to come back to that in a minute okay also this from the little section I see is cute as hell all right anyway once upon a time, a Moonwood Mill was filled with the bustle and sound of the nearby lumber mill. Today, the town, is, the town is transformed. The rusted shells of its former industry provide cover for a handful of mysterious denizens who sought out this wilderness shrouded community, basking in its remote and anonymous nature. It's a place where, with a hidden history, and those who live here know that if you dig deep enough, you're bound to discover some fascinating secrets. Oh my God, I just had the best idea. I'm so sorry. This is so random i now want to watch a scooby-doo sims gameplay like we have werewolves we have spellcasters we have vampires we have mermaids y'all we need a scooby-doo gameplay please if i was not so lazy i would do it my damn self but but somebody somebody with some creative ability who has the time and the energy that is probably not me um I would love to watch that. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. And if you use it, credit me, please. Just, just give me credit a little bit. Like, for the idea. Okay. Anyway. All right. Bye. <laughs> um. Anyway, so what's there to do around town? There's plenty to sink your teeth into. Oh, God. During the full moon, I'm wondering also if it's like a thing where werewolves and vampires just don't like each other. Very curious. I feel like that's going to have to be a trait or like uh, aspiration or something. And something is going to have to happen. Like, they got they got to play into that at some point. Come on. All right, during the full moon, you might notice crescent-shaped Lake Lundvik, 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 I don't know, has a magical shimmer to it, making it the perfect time to try to catch the elusive Luna fish and to climb up to the howling point that looms over the lake to pluck the even rarer moon petal flower. Or if you're feeling brave and looking for adventure, and also I'm just taking guesses as I'm reading, I'm wondering if like that fish or that moon petal flower, if they can either turn you into a werewolf or cure your, your werewolfism. Lupicism, because Lupa is is Lupa, Lupa's werewolf, right? Isn't Lupa werewolf? I swear Lupa's werewolf. Anyway, um, 
Or if you're feeling brave and looking for adventure, delve into the tunnels that run under the town and network known as the Underground, Underground Railroad, come on, to try and uncover secrets and find quicker routes for navigating back and forth. The town's pack. wait, navigating back and forth, does that mean that we don't have to do loading screens? Like, please? Please? <laughs> The town's pack members are always are also always up for a good spar at the pit, assuming you have the claws for it. Oh, God. In Moodwood Mill, there's uh, always plenty to do, especially if you're a werewolf. Heed the advice of the locals, though. Stay out of Greg's way and you'll be okay. Okay, who's Greg? I need to know who Greg is. Oh, God. You know what I just... Oh, my God. The thoughts that just went through my head. I, want, I now also want somebody to make a Zootopia. Um... <laughs> Oh God, this is about to go left. Okay, I want somebody to make a Zootopia gameplay because we have like werewolves now and I'm very curious how that would work out with like mods and stuff. Oh my God, yes. Also, the, the furries are going to enter the chat. I can see it. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> I like I like how the werewolves look so far. I love what they did. Like how they did the ears and stuff. Kind of like how we have the dog ears and things in the sims game for our pets i like how they have freckles even for them like this is really cool the fangs they get new nose rings new jewelry like this is cool i like this the, the ear piercing job this is very cute i can really get behind this honestly i could get behind this okay i'm assuming these are the feet that everybody was like bitching about uh, <laughs> i guess they wanted like more denigrated feet um, look it up if you don't know what it is, but basically like horse, kind of like horse, deer, like how their feet are positioned. That's what I'm guessing people wanted. Listen, Sims team said, y'all got fur, y'all got werewolf. Leave us the hell alone, <laughs> okay? We don't know what else y'all want from us. <laughs> That's basically what they said. They said, we are not trying to take a full furry territory. We are not doing that. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, that hair. <gasps> I love this jacket. Oh my God. Wait, do they have trailers now? What is happening? I'm loving the clothes, by the way. Like, I'm loving the clothes. I know there's a trailer somewhere here because I did see a trailer somewhere online. Okay. Create your own werewolf. A werewolf can be many things. Fierce, playful, dramatic, cuddly, the list goes on. In The Sims 4, werewolves come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and themes. In Create a Sim, which is up here, right? You can fully customize your werewolf to tell the story you want. All werewolves start with a beast and a sim form that are linked, providing basically like uh, we have for... All the other things, aliens, vampires, mermaids, what the hell else is there, damn, spellcasters, well no, spellcasters are just, they're human technically, so they don't have another form, but yeah. Um, providing parity and matching up changes to body shape, clothes, and facial features to the other form. But that's not to say that you can't create a beast of your very own. Unlink the forms and make them as distinct as you'd like. Whichever direction you take, edit their face structure, ears, eyes, tufts, and more. Oh my god, tufts. <laughs> Unlink the form. Oh wait, no, I already read that. Paint on menacing scars. Oh, so they brought the painting feature from pets, or cats and dogs rather over here that's interesting so now you know everybody's gonna be wondering why the hell we can't have that for like regular clothes right because we've been asking for that like regular clothes sims can we draw our own tattoos can we make our own body scars like please come on y'all y'all show it's possible y'all show it's possible help us <laughs> All right, paint on menacing scars to tell the story of a dramatic fight between opposing pack members or cover them in silly jellyfish. You have full control over your beast form's pelt, so create one that's as traditional or as wildly as you are. They just said, screw it, y'all are getting what y'all getting and leave us the hell alone. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Um, it looks like we got a new tree. That's a really cool looking tree, okay. Ooh, what is this on her? Is this like a tattoo? Did we get new tattoos? Like moon tattoos? I love the moon. I love moon faces and stuff. I think it's so pretty. Okay. Find a community in a pack, which is this picture. Um, Moonwood Mill is home to two distinct wolf packs. The Moonwood Collective, a pack of seasoned rustic werewolves. I'm guessing these guys on the left. Um, that value tradition, community, and self-control. And the Wild Fangs, a scrappy, free-spirited crew of rebellious werewolves that value self-improvement, self-acceptance, and are inspired by punk and grunge aesthetics. Okay, actually, switch it. I think this one is the second one we just talked about. This was the first one that we just talked about. Very nice. I'm still on this hair. I'm sorry. Okay. To join either one, visit their hangout and get to know the pack. Once you're on good terms, the pack's alpha may challenge you with a few trials. Complete those and you're in. The work doesn't end there. That just sounds like hazing. I'm sorry. The work doesn't end there, however. Why does he have one? You know what? I'm, I was going to say, Lord. Okay, it's 10 o'clock at night. That's telling me I need to go to bed soon. Okay. 
It's my birthday tomorrow, by the way. So like, I'm trying to get my life together because I want to get this this video up and out and just be done with it. Because June third, Friday, I am partying. I am hanging out with friends. I'm gonna act a fool, act a mess. And you know what? If you want to give me a birthday gift, what you can do is you can check out some more of my videos. See if you really like them. If you do, you can give me some likes. You can subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. Just saying. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, but for real. I'm excited. I'm excited to be old. It's great. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I'll say it sounds like hazing though. It, it low key sounds like hazing. The, the like, Hey, do these trials. But all right. And I was trying to say that his collar it's, I know it's that neck choker with the spikes, but it looks like a collar. I'm sorry. Oh my God. The other thought I had, it was not PG 13 at all. Okay. Just stop talking. Stop talking. You're good. <laughs> anyway, joining Eva pack comes with its own obligations, hierarchy and do's and don'ts. As a member of the pack, you represent something greater than yourself. And someday if you play for, if you play for pause, right? I'm guessing if you play your pause, right? You might even become the alpha and represent the pack itself. Very nice. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> Life as a werewolf is wild. Where are his pants? Oh my gosh. Okay. Like, wait, yeah, where are his clothes? He doesn't have clothes on. Uh, you know what? Okay. Does he have money in his hand? I have no clue what's happening. Okay. Life as a werewolf is wild. With every howl, scratch, and transformation, a werewolf can grow their power to unlock new abilities, such as running swiftly on all fours, which is what they're doing, I'm guessing. And they don't wear shoes. Um, <laughs> marking their territory. Oh my god, are they just pissing on shit? I'm done. Lunar resistance and even immortality. But it's not all uh, stakes and sparrings. As their power grows, so do the unique ways in which that werewolf views the world. These are represented by a growing number of temperaments, each of which distinguishes how that sim's fury may grow. Speaking of fury... Why is that capitalized? It's probably time we talk about the most important aspect of a werewolf's life. At all times, a werewolf's fury is growing. Oh, so werewolves just got anger issues. Got it. That is a cool ass hairstyle. Oh my god, that's a cute onesie. I'm so done. I love how she's just ignoring them. Like, I feel like these are two siblings. Oh my god, they're playing with their rope toy. I'm done. She just does not care. She's like, as long as y'all are not bothering me, do whatever y'all want. <laughs> Using your unique werewolf powers, sparring with other werewolves, hanging out in beast form, being under the full moon, or doing behavior that com that conflicts with your temperaments will pierce. F oh my God! Why can't I read? Will push fury to increase more quickly. Once maximum fury is reached, a transformation is imminent. Oh my God! So you really could just like change. I guess if you just neglect it and you don't change for long enough. That's crazy. Okay. So always be mindful of your fury because it just might come back and bite you. That is funny. I'm sorry. The lore of a moon. They just ripping up her house. Uh -uh. The lore of a moon would of moonwood mill. As you spend more time in Moonwood Mill, you'll discover hidden knowledge about its magical roots. Meet with Wolfgang, of course, the local librarian in the center of town, and check out werewolf-themed books to unravel truths about Moonwood's mysterious beasts. Though everyone in town knows that to find the best secrets, you have to head out into the neighborhood and dig or explore. <laughs> I'm just picturing a werewolf digging a hole a little deeper for long lost books and items. If that's not your style, try interacting with the locals. It's not about joining a pack. Once you get to know them, Christopher, Rory, and their pack members will each reveal their own past and unique perspectives on werewolf history and philosophy. Even the town's um, only non-wear denizen... Wait, there's only one of them? <laughs> has something to share head on over to talk with celine lopez the owner of grim tooth bar and bunker one of the lots built in partnership with community creator james turner there you can find the where bees remedy i'm so done disclaimer not the cure for like lycanthropy that's what it was i forgot what i said what did i say lupa or something i meant lichen wow okay <laughs> Anyway, that's another thing entirely, or other, or order a drink and some food. You'll be pleasantly surprised by the impressive array of meaty options. There's also Greg, of course, but we don't recommend trying to pry information out of him. You wouldn't want to risk it, right? Oh, yes, I would. All right, so here's the trailer. <laughs> Every other 
Okay, so we watched all that. First question, that thing just said June 16th. This thing says June 10th. Oh, it was a deep dive reveal of the thing on the 10th, but it comes out the 16th. Well, damn it, I should have read the rest of the sentence, shouldn't I? Anyway, I wish y'all could have seen my face because my face when the fucking thing peed on the ground. Good Lord. Okay, anyway, <laughs> it went really fast. So, you know what? I'm just gonna like bring the sound down real quick and we're gonna try to watch that one more time with in a little bit slower motion and i'm just gonna mute it because i just don't want to listen to it anymore love the outfit i don't know why because i would never put this probably on my sim this one's cool i like that love the hairs i saw so many nice hairs and everything went so fast that i was like just trying to watch it wow okay that was a horrible place to pause it um but her hair you're gonna see it later with the little braid on the side very nice uh don't know what that other hair was. I like this, the like how they disappear. That was really cool. And then this girl just got a lot going on. Who scratched her? You know what? Because we saw that they were chasing her, right? But do we know who scratched her? I don't think we know. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to solve the mystery right now. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So it looks like her arm, like you get scratched or, or you got bit actually. You get bit and then you transform, right? And so I'm wondering if it's something similar to how... We have um, the the vampire bites, right? How we have the vampire bites and it has an option to transform um, or to just like feed. Or I wonder if it could even be like a thing like if you bite them, they could possibly transform. It doesn't have to be a thing. Like it could be a 50-50 chance, like a gamble, like kind of like pregnancy. I don't know. All right. So she transformed for the first time. She ends up scratching the hell out the floor, right? Um, and then she ends up joining one of the groups. See that group? And her hair. I love her hair. The blue girl's hair. Very cool. Oh, what I was going to say, actually, is I wonder if as a werewolf, if, like, your relationship with the dogs in the game actually goes up. See, that's when I lost it. That When the dude peed, I, no, I had to go. Um, and then they do the sparring. Kind of like the military sparring. And that was very cute when they dug. I said, do they dig? That's very cute. Um, but yeah, when the mil they do military sparring, that came with uh, Strangerville, right? And it's like friendly. That's what this looks like very much. Um, and then <laughs> that was just really cute. This string, I'm sorry. That guitar looks really cool though. And then I'm guessing that little trailer thing that we just saw was probably the trailer that they were saying, the, hu the one human um, like owns or whatever, and then they howl. So I wonder if when dogs and stuff hear them howl, if they're gonna go crazy. Like that'd be a really cool thing to add into the game. Just saying. Um, will I be getting this again? I think it's about twenty dollars if I remember right. If, if I'm thinking of the right price for uh game packs, but 
will I be getting it? Yeah, because I'm crazy and I need to have everything. But also because I'm actually very curious. I'm very curious. I really want, as y'all know, I'm a Kaz person. I like everything for Kaz. So like those hairstyles, I'm here for them. A lot of those items looked really cool. Like when I was looking in the, um, I'm not so much of a build and buy person, but like when we were looking at the, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? When they were redecorating the house or whatever. So like they were showing us how, they redecorated the house and I don't know where it is, but there was like this one glowing like moon lamp thing that they had that looked really cool. And like, I would love that. Like there were certain items in here that I was definitely down for, but I think I'm done. I'm tired of recording. I want to get to sleep because I have a very early meeting tomorrow on my birthday, which I was trying to avoid, but I have to do it. So I think I'm done here. Um, I'm going to check this out. I'll let y'all know how it is. And obviously a uh, first look um video and yeah just stick around i still have to upload my gameplay video of the little campers pack that will be done probably this weekend but like i said i'm gonna enjoy my birthday so we'll see and then again if you want to give me a little birthday gift check out my last video my last video was when i did a review on the little little campers kit and the um uh date night sheet kit right Check that out because that was very fun to edit. I had so much fun. And there's like one particular part where y'all will see that was my favorite part to edit. <laughs> that was my favorite part to edit. And if you watch that video, leave it in the comments what you think my favorite part to edit was because it was so fun. Oh my God. All right. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. All right. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. And yeah. Just uh, remember my model, Sim School Super Pete, and I'll see you all later. It's your girl, Tiny Time, and I'm out. Bye, y'all.